What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's Valentine's Day and apart from it being a good day to spend some time with your significant others and go out to dinner and yada yada yada, it is also a good time to make some money. In our country, there are tons of sale and buying, uh, sales and buying opportunities across the different major holidays. And so today, we're going to source from one specific store having a pretty big sale and see if we can't make you guys some money. So stick around for the video. We might just have a product for you guys to purchase at the end. And let's, cool. get, so let's get right into it. Obviously, as you can see, we have our sites set on Vitacost because right here, they have a 15% off your order for Valentine's Day. It also looks like they have a 20% off your first order. Never had, uh, have not have experience with this specific one, but I know this 15% off works across the catalog, across all products, and specifically for today being Valentine's Day. So this is what we're, our sites are focused on. We're looking to take advantage of this 15% off coupon. Um, and because of that, we're looking for the most efficient way to source this entire website, right? And the slow way to do it, right, the least effective way to do it, would be to simply go through, pick a category, product by product, and just map them back to Amazon, right? Because the problem with that, when we and this is across any sort of site with OA in general, when we start from the source, when we're starting to consume the data from the source, whether it be Vitacost, Kohl's, Dix, wherever we're sourcing at the time, it's hard to qualify the product data, product information, as we're consuming it from the website. Right, because this Vitacost website has products that bucketize, that fall into three separate categories. Products that sell really well on Amazon, products that do not sell really well on Amazon, and then products that aren't on Amazon at all. And when I'm on their website looking at all these products, I don't know how to qualify the products that I'm looking at. And you guys know the best sourcers, right, the fastest way to source is to get to the no as quickly as possible because that arrives us at that next yes. So we're looking to qualify our product information as soon as possible. And whenever we're just starting at the source, it's difficult to do so. So we're looking for a better option. And being that we're focused on this specific site, what is that better option? Luckily for us, we have and we're just kind of browsing around the website. It looks like Vita of Cost has their own brand, right? If we start to click into some of these, um, you know, categories, it looks like Vita Cost has a bunch of subcategories inside their own brand, and so that can very well be our entryway because when we can specifically pinpoint and qualify a Vita Cost product, we know where to buy it, right? That part is solved. So if we can just qualify that our Vitacost product sells well, it's likely the case that's going to be profitable because everyone that's getting that same product is buying it from the same source. There's no Vitacost wholesale. There's no sort of way to maneuver your way around to get a better price. There's one source, likely one set of pricing criteria, and we're looking at it, right? So if we can qualify Vitacost brands, Vitacost products within Amazon using the Amazon data, and then simply reverse engineer and map them back to Vitacost, that's just naturally going to be a better way to source. And we could also account for this 15% off, which is likely going to make most of the products that we look at pretty profitable, right? And so we can use Keep a Product Finder to do this, right? We could always map and source by a specific brand. Keep a Product Finder makes that pretty, pretty efficient. And so we can use our brand filter, and we're just going to sort on Vitacost. It looks like Vitacost brand is right here. And right off the bat, we have narrowed our search criteria results down to about 900 products. Now, we're looking for some extra qualification. We're not just, we don't want to be wasting time looking at every single Vitacost product, right? We're looking for the most efficient way to consume our information and make educated, accurate decisions. And so we're going to leverage some other filters. If we go up to the top, we can use our handy sales rank filter and just set a basic sales rank filter from 1 to 50,000. That's going to just give us, oh wow, so that one actually did uh, some damage. We only left for two products. But what that did is I want to only be focused on products that sell, that sell with velocity that consumers are purchasing. Right? That's where my mindset, that my attention always wants to be towards. And so by using this filter, simply put, we're only going to be looking at products that move. And so we let the filter do a lot of the heavy lifting, right? We don't want to be looking through those 900 products. We want to use our filtering capability 
to source as efficiently as possible. And so with that, we're only left with two specific products. We can look at them pretty quickly, right? We can, first and foremost, we wouldn't want to just qualify the product, right, by looking at that keeper graph on the bottom right. It looks like it's relatively stable. It looks like the sales rank, sales rank is moving pretty consistently. So we're going to open this guy up and, and see what there is to see, right? First and foremost, we want to get a sense of the velocity. We want to get a sense of, and SellerAmp does this really well, we want to get a sense of how much it's moving in, in relation to the sellers and the competition that's on the product. So it looks like we're working with about 500 sales per month. And actually now it looks like there's about 10-ish uh, sellers. We'll see if they're all competitive by looking in uh, what they're priced at. Looks like they're all pretty competitive except for maybe this guy right here, $38. So there's about eight sellers that are competitive all around that $30 price point, right? So that establishes our market. We're going to be priced around 30 um, and we being that we're working with about 500 sales, we can divide that 500 by our eight competitive sellers. And we're left with about 60 sales that we would expect if we went into, in, into this market and priced competitively with all the other sellers. Now, the next question is, what's the profitability? What's the margin that we could expect? It looks like our cost, the, our cost that we're shooting for is about $17. And if we come down here to the Kiva, it looks like we do have some offers spiking here, probably had a leads list or something, but it looks like we have established back to our norm about 10 to 15 sellers and our price point is at that. So I've got about $30, $32. Now it's a price point discussion. If we hit our Google, we can pull it up on VitaCost and we can see it and, and see if we can even make that $17, I think, even remotely close. Looks like original it's 27. We're gonna see if we can get that down a bit. $27 um, with our 15% off. Looks like it's about 23. Um, so that's not gonna cut it. That is not gonna cut it. We may be able to get the 20% off if we put our email address, but even still, $27. We gotta match it, make sure it's the right capsule, 120, 120. Uh, 27 times 0.8, that's going to be 22. That's still not going to cut it, right? Because if we river, if we put in our 22, it's only going to, we're actually losing money. So this super doesn't work, right? So this one's not going to be good. But let's pull up this second guy here um, and do the same sort of analysis. First and foremost, we want to establish about how many units we can expect. Sales are a little bit lower, about 100. Um, but that could be okay. The competition's also uh, a lot more steady, but it lost a lot lower. So it's been hovering around, you know, eight or ten sellers. Price has also been very steady as well, twenty-two or tw about twenty. We could probably squeeze a couple twenty-three dollars sales, twenty-three dollars, twenty-two dollars sales in there as well. We'll see what the price action is. Um, so it actually, we're only really focused on maybe seven or eight sellers, right? Because if we come in at twenty twenty-one. We're not going to have to worry about the 25 seller, 24 seller. Looks like seven sellers about, um, and working with about 100 offers, somewhere between 15 or 20 sales per month that we'd expect. Uh, and let's look at the profitability, right? So pull up on VitaCost. Looks like their price, and we want to just make sure this is the same product, VitaCost Black Cherry Juice Concentrate. Uh, it's a little bit different packaging, but 16 ounce, 16 ounce. It's the same product, it just looks a little bit different. But that is priced at 723. 723 with our 15% off. Brings it down to 612. And so with that 612 price point, that's actually gonna work for us. About a five dollar profit, high ROI, 27, 30% margin, and again sprinkling in some twenty-three dollar sales as well. We're looking at over a hundred percent ROI on this specific product, you know, sell it 10, 15 times a month. It's gonna be a good beginner product to kind of get the ball rolling, get our get our sales moving and uh, make some money. But the cool thing is, and the really cool thing with Amazon that will forever be the case, is we found one product, but now we have access to 10, 15, you know, 11 other storefronts that have found this same product. And that's the key. That is very valuable information because if they found this first product, the chances that they have found similar products from a similar store are extraordinarily high, right? And so if we start to go through some of these other sellers, it's likely the case that we can find other sellers that are buying from VitaCost. And that's where that first product leads to the second, leads to the third, leads to the fourth. So this is a good product, good starting product, high ROI, it won't move very much, but again, the rabbit holes, the other opportunities and other doors that this product can potentially open up are 
even potentially more valuable than having this first product to sell. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one. I knocked over my cat. I'll see you in the next video.